time. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Free American. 9-11 came and went. Didn't want to uh, go into it yesterday, but I'm going to go into it a bit today because I'm kind of proud of the president we elected. I think Trump is doing a, a good job. It's not perfect, but uh, he may have his reasons, valid reasons, for the way he's handling the Israeli situation. And I'm not going to condemn him too quickly or offhand. I think he's handling the uh, hurricanes. I don't know if he is aware that this is weather wars. I believe he is. I think he's got enough advice and advisor that knows what's happening. And so he knows that these are weather wars. And I believe we'll get through it just fine. The Hurricanes Irma didn't bear through uh, Florida with 150 miles an hour winds. So somebody's looking out for Florida. Don't know exactly who. Well, thank you, Marco. Yes, you have had sources feeding you wrong information. I did take the oath. And there is a lot of fake news out out there, shall we say. Hopefully... You'll be able to pay attention to my Facebook page, pay pay attention to the freeamerican.com and get some of your information straight and corrected. But I thank you. And I see uh, I've got the fake Trevor Cameron uh, popping in there. I owe you nothing, you lying son of a bitch. I owe you nothing. You, uh, I created the character Trevor Cameron. I'm the closest thing to Trevor Cameron on this planet, and you're nothing but a blind troll on the Internet. I'd uh, love uh, to really meet the real troll and be able to show you a little bit of pavement, rub your face in it, you lying troll. I see uh, Markov is getting a little bit of intelligence here. And so you have managed to replace him as uh, my chief target, as the person I'd most like to meet and wipe the street with, you ignorant son of a bitch. I'm like a lot like Louis Lamore. Louis L'Amour didn't pretend to be any characters, but uh, like Louis L'Amour, if I write about something, if I write about something, I've been there. The bars in uh, 
Bimini and Key West have always been there. They're uh, trying to get this uh, other computer working here, and I think I've just about got it here. Uh, we see we got a few people in here. In the uh, chat room, my numbers can go to hell. I'll kick you out of here as soon as I see you. And I ain't going to waste a lot of time on you because I got a lot of a lot of information here that I want to share with you. Like, uh, how about it, Donald? Could I have you open my show for me here? Mr. President. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let me get this. Headset put back together. And six six nine. Who are you? Hi, Clay. Where this is Frederick. That? Hello, Frederick. This is Frederick, but you can call me Fred. I just um, I was calling in. I was listening to that little clip you were playing, and I found it really interesting because. A lot of my buddies and I, we uh, discuss things like that, and it's funny they brought up the Truman Show because that's exactly, basically what I talk to them about, like how I feel. You know, they were up in the moon, and the weather is man-made, just like in the movie. Yeah. And I just found it really interesting because I've never heard anybody other than myself talk about that before. Yeah, it's... Uh... So what do you... What are your thoughts on uh, the Truman Show, I guess? I don't know. I don't uh, know if I've ever watched the Truman Show. I'm aware of it, but I don't know if I've ever watched it. Oh, you should definitely check it out. It's, uh, you know, Jim Carrey's and it's a really good movie, and it, it makes you really think about what's going on and the whole thing about being in a simulation. You know, that could also very much be possible. Well, there's a lot uh, about uh, this whole thing, you know. You're, if you watch television, uh, you're pretty well programmed. I believe that. Uh, the only thing true. I watch are some movies, but I, you know, lately the news, all it is with uh, President Trump is nothing but a witch hunt. I mean, a guy can't blow his nose without them making fun of him. Well. My, I tell people that my career has spans pissing off four presidents. I blew the whistle on George Bush one, and uh, that's the first time the so-called CIA threatened me. I don't know, of course, if it was the real CIA or if it was uh, Mossad or. ADL or Southern Poverty Law agents threatening me because I blew the whistle hmm. on Bush's uh, CIA operation when he was CIA director. He sent the Special Forces, Colonel Edward P. Cotolo, down to Columbia to build a series of radio towers to guide planes into Albrook Air Force Base which was protected by his partner there, Manuel Noriega. And Manuel Noriega's handler was Michael Harari, Mossad agent, and also the uh, 
He was also the Mossad agent that uh, was uh, responsible for the operation on 9-11. Called by and the that's Jews? The second, yeah, that's the second time the uh, Mossad threatened me and tried to kill me that time. Now, what else? would you say, what do you have to add about the Jews? Is there anything that we don't know? Well, there's a lot about them we don't know. Besides their big nose and they love money. They go all the way back to the beginnings of Christianity, to the beginnings of the Bible, through the Old Testament. I think they are the uh, people, the tribe chosen by the uh, archons, to uh, represent the evil of the archons. The archons aren't very creative, so they need somebody down here to represent them. And uh, the Jews aren't very creative, so they set up the movie theaters and the television and the radio using uh, the humans, the Caucasians. They're a little bit more creative than the Jews. But well, what if all the Jews and came together and they wanted you to represent them? Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. They couldn't get me. I can't be hypnotized. I can't be intimidated. I can't be frightened. They tried to kill me, and uh, that didn't work. I'm a little hard to kill what if for they, them. What if they use their feces against you? Because I know they love the... Yeah, they love to spread their shit around, but uh, that don't work. They can't get close enough to me. uh, They they can't lay a hand on me without getting their fingers broken or their arm ripped off. Well, I got to be honest with you, Clay. The more you talk, Pull it together here. What you what what point are you going to make before I hang up on your ass? No, I got I got choked up. Yeah, I bet you did. All right. Oh, uh, there's some nasty people though. Those Jews. Yeah, that's what. Uh, but no, George Patton said about them. Said we fought on the wrong side. He said they were filthy. It doesn't surprise Why are you me Jewish? one bit. No, not at all. Farthest thing from it. So what was your but point? I turned you on never talking made a about point. Them, I get turned on talking been a... about the Jews. I bet you do. Okay. Thanks for calling. Goodbye. And 719, 719, what's on your... This is Bob in Colorado. Okay, Bob. Are you a backdoor man? you like taking it up the shitter? What the fuck is wrong with you? Backdoor man. Are you a backdoor man? Yeah, I'm still a bachelor it, 12 years. What's it to you? No, a backdoor. A backdoor, man. You like it in the back door. No, I you don't. Are, you just, no, I don't, and no. you're an ignorant motherfucker for even book, trying to shit. bring that up. No, I'm up not a fucking fan. No, I'm not. You, you're an ignorant motherfucker. Go to hell. So, 856. 856. <laughs> Fuck you then. <clears throat> you what? Gonna be rude? Fuck you. Five eight zero. Oh. How about five Clay. eight zero? Oh. Who are you? Good morning, Clay. Clay, you decided to stay off script again today, and I'm really getting upset with you. How can I produce this show if you are not going to listen to me? You it's another are producing anything, you low life piece of Clay. shit. You're a piece of we shit. We had an agreement. Food. 
You know, we, had we an agreement. don't have an agreement. We never we had, had an, an agreement, agreement with you lying motherfucker. You, no, you don't work we, for me. You don't Clay, work with me. I Clay, don't today know you. Were you. Supposed to talk if today, I ever, if I, shut up. Clay, if I, today shut you up, I'll hang up on you. Shut up, okay, God well, you know damn what? you. Shut we're up. We're working on, Clay. We're not working on you nothing. Said. You don't work for me. I don't Clay. like you. I wouldn't work with you. And you I do like wish, me. You said I, I just, helped you out many times. Okay. No, that's a lie. And Clay, uh, you you working. lie every time you open your mouth. You goddamn lie. You don't work for Clay. me. I I just wish, I wish Clay. I really had Clay. a meeting with when you. We met, when we you met for lunch last week. Piece of shit. Shut up. When we met last week. No, I'm hanging you up on you. Be, uh, I'm hanging up on you. Really, okay. Okay. This motherfucker. I'm not hanging up on you. But since you can't keep your goddamn mouth shut when you talk to me, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know who Steve is. I've never seen him in my life. He's a low-life, lying motherfucker. And if I could get my hands on him, if the police could get their hands on him, I'd put him in jail. If maybe, maybe I'd put him in jail. Or I put him in the hospital. He's a lying cocksucker. He tries to tell people he's selling advertising. He tries to tell people he's producing the show. He doesn't produce anything except uh, nausea in my stomach because he's such a lying cocksucker. And I don't like the Jews. I don't like a lot of things. But I hate a fucking liar and a thief, and Steve is both. Now, did you get that, you your motherfucker? You got that? That's the truth. And yeah. just like the, the Jews, you're a lying piece of shit. There's no truth in you. Huh? What? No. Yeah. Fuck off, you lying piece of shit. Yeah. Hope this number is well for you. Because the chief of police of Big Spring really wants to talk with you, Steve. Yeah. I'm on the toilet. Yeah, uh, yeah, you need to be stick your goddamn head down, you lying piece of shit. Well, that's a good place for you. Where's Mark? Um, all right. I'm sorry, Clay. I'm sorry. I don't have any problem with Markov. I do with you, you low life piece of shit. I don't even know who you are or what I'm doing here or, or what. Who are you? Fuck you. Goodbye. Two one zero. Oh. Hi, Clay. Who are this you? Is Gunner. This is Gunner. I'm calling from South Carolina. Okay, Johnny. What's uh, what's on your mind? Why are you calling my show? Do you no, listen to my show? Yeah, my name is Gunner with a G. Okay, Gunner. Yeah, I recently fell on hard times, and I was wondering if it'd be okay, Clay, if I could try to sell my John Deere tractor. I ain't got a job right now, and I'm going through real hard times. Well, sorry about that, but I don't. You can't sell anything on my show. I don't do that. Get you a little uh, right. piece of cardboard. Make your sign and go stand on the fucking corner. Goodbye. I wouldn't like to do that, Clay. I got too much dignity for that. I mean, it'd help me out a, a ton if I could just, you know, give out my phone number and maybe someone call me about that from me. That's all. Then fucking starve. Goodbye. Six six nine. Bye, Clay. Before you played your um, a little earlier, the forty-five minute clip or so, I was eating some wheat thins, and I was I was on my last one. I took a bite of it. 
and I put it back in the box, and I was wondering if I could sell it for two hundred dollars. Okay, there was another dumb son of a bitch. And it's in the chat room. Crystal paid two hundred dollars for a meet and greet. Too bad, tough shit. If you haven't given it to me or my PayPal, play at freeamerican.com, then you got ripped off and you are to fix it. Jewish Lightning, 402. Hello, 402. Yeah, no troll here. Bill Jensen, York, Nebraska. How you doing there? I'm fine, Bill. What's on your mind? Well, I saw. Well, I tell you what, I saw a great little blurb on your show. Uh, you got three and a half out of four stars uh, from Truth Revolt. Uh, they just did a little blurb on your show. Uh, it's just a real short one here. I'll give it to you. Uh, it's by Jeff Judenhaus. Uh, Zionists, sodomites, trolls, and liberals beware! The free American Mister Clay Douglas is on the job and uncovering deep state conspiracies with precision and accuracy unparalleled in the American media media today. Douglas brings almost 40 years of expertise and personal experience to his award-winning two-hour show and will bring plenty plenty of thrills, spills, and chills over two hours of hilarity, morning hijinks, and content-filled political talk peppered with inner earth scientific theory, UFO cover-ups and award-winning reporting on Israeli interference in American political affairs. Douglas is a sensational entertainer, voracious reader, inquisitive mind, and the show is outstanding. 3.4 out of four four stars, so you're getting good reviews out there. Wow, that's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. Not to hear something uh, positive instead of all these fucking Jews. Queers and uh, Black Lives Matter, sodomites. I I was I was uh, losing, uh, almost losing faith in the American people, uh, thinking that maybe the uh, queers had took over. So glad to hear that. Yeah, keep and appreciate uh, appreciate you bringing it to my attention. All right, and you take it easy. Have a good week. All right. You too, sir. All Thank right. you very much. All right. I'll see you. Yeah. Bye-bye now. All right. How about that? Now, 919. Hello, 919. Who are you? Where are you? And if hey, Clay. How's it going? I'm the shirt. Yeah, absolutely. That was, that was nice to hear that last caller. It's nice that people are, um, you know, when they get positive reactions from your show, they're letting other people know about it. And maybe that'll increase your following. I'm uh, Jeff in uh, the Charlotte Winston Salem area. Okay. Um, I it's it's more of a question for your customer relations department, but I'll I'll run it by I, you, and maybe you can give me your advice. I, um, I am I, the customer relations department, bud. Okay. Okay. So so sorry about the misunderstanding. Um, I was just wondering. I've I've heard lots of plugs for Dell's Cafe. And um, Doug in Charlotte and Steve, I had signed up for the Confederate package for my. Um, my bit, my um, company, but I haven't had any plugs on your company yet. So who do I call to either get a refund or um, to get the plug started? Well, I don't know. Whoever you, uh, if you gave money to Steve, then you ought to track him down and beat the fuck out of him and turn him over to the cops. Sure. Because Steve has nothing to do with me. He doesn't sell advertising. I don't sell advertising. Dell's well, Cafe I went to your... is right here. Dell's Cafe is right here in Big Spring, and I eat there all the time. Friday they got a good deal on catfish and shrimp. I eat there all the time, and they haven't paid me a dime. I don't take advertising <clears throat> from anybody. I don't. You don't pay for advertising. I'll tell you where I've been. I'll tell you about the barbecue joint over there on 4th Street where I eat lunch at least once a week. But I don't take any money. And if you paid any money to anybody, 
and you didn't send it to Clay at FreeAmerican.com on PayPal, or you didn't go to my website, FreeAmerican.com, then well, you got I ripped went, off. Uh, Clay, I went to your website, and right at the very top it says you don't have salesmen and you don't do advertising, but Steve had told me that that's going to be changed, and so he said just listen for the plugs for Dell's Cafe, and that's what we're going to do for you, and I want you to take me to that next level, just like you plugged the barbecue joint. Can we do that? That no, the but that's what Steve, but Steve said. Steve, shut up. Steve is a lying motherfucker, and He's he does anything. Anything he tells you is a fucking lie. And if you're listening to Steve instead of me, then you're a dumb motherfucker, and I wouldn't give you a plug. Nickel, got that? Wait. Goodbye. Well, there's one. Follow, there's one follow. There's one follow-up, Clay. Um, just hold on, please. Um, I have the online no. delivery service where I deliver the egg foo young and the cream of some young guy. Fuck you. If you eat with that guy, if you do anything with that guy, you, uh, you'll you die. His egg foo young sucks. 720. Uh, I've spoken up, with you before. What the fuck do you want? Who are I you? Just Give me a you. name if you've got one. My name and is Eric, you can dude. How many times am I going to tell you, dude? I, I, my name is Eric. I'm calling to tell everybody. What is it again? Book thing. What is it here? I can't hear you. Egg, what is your name Egg, again? Egg Bleeman. Egg Bleeman. No, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Get a better phone. Go to hell. Go to hell. 609. <laughs> Bird, what the hell? I, Steve, I've been dealing with Steve. Can you please help me? He owes me $26,000, sir. Please Good help luck. me. Damn it. Good luck. I like Good luck. Money. Steve, fuck you. Steve, fuck you. Steve, fuck you. I don't say it doesn't work for me, you dumb motherfucker. Goodbye. God damn, all you people. Yeah, you might ask what his uh, what his name is, where he is. You might uh, know that before you give him twenty six thousand dollars. You dumb motherfuckers. Seven one nine. Are you back again? Hey, what's up? It's Bob Goodbye. again. I was hey, talking to seven one nine's no more. Two one zero. How about two one zero? Okay. What do you want? Who are you? Hi, Clay. This is Matthew. I'm calling from uh, Fort Worth, Texas. That doesn't look like a Fort Worth, Texas number to me. Fort Worth, Texas yeah, is 817. It's my work phone. So, yeah, okay. What do you I want? Want- I was just wondering if I could fuck you in the ass. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't got a prayer, you ignorant. Sick motherfucker. Go to hell. Six six nine. Hi Clay, this is James calling from Hampton, Minnesota. Okay. I was James. Just, I just wanted to let you I just wanted to let you know that I really uh thought that today's episode was a really good one and I think that you and Steve make a good pair together. You work really well, well together. Well, then you're a sick, then you're a sick well, motherfucker I think that because Steve that knows has and nothing listens, to can't appreciate do it. with Steve. me, you ignorant son of a bitch. I don't have anything to do with Steve. Yeah, Steve uh, will be charged with impersonating an officer if he ever... If he's ever located. 662. Hey, Who are you that? It's Steve. Your ratings are up. Let's celebrate. Go fuck yourself, you ignorant son of a bitch. Well, I don't see anybody else we're talking to. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Defense Secretary. While we have never asked for this fight, we are steadfastly committed to seeing it through, as President Trump has made it abundantly clear. He's talking about Afghanistan. No more temporizing, as our example of leadership galvanizes other nations to stand united 
against this threat to all humankind. Maniacs disguised in false religious garb thought by hurting us they could scare us that day. But we Americans are not made of cotton candy. We are not seaweed drifting in the current. We are not intimidated by our enemies. And, Mr. President, your military does not scare. All right. I'll second that. We don't negotiate with terrorists. All right. I'll take a couple of calls here. Don't don't fuck it up. Let's have a little bit of intelligence here. Don't be rude, don't be crude. Six oh nine. Who are you? Where are you? What are you calling about? What do you got to say? Good morning, Clay. This is Brian from uh, just outside Philadelphia, formerly from Little Rock, Arkansas. The Alu River, Oqua Tenjin Wan. Um, I'm not Jewish, and I'm not gay. In fact, I like to ride motorcycles, and I like to eat pussy, too. All right. I like to kick the out of punkers and faggots. And if you don't like it, Fuck you. Yeah. All right. Michael so Joe Warren, the... I think he passed away. Yes. My friend Riley Martin and myself, we um, were abducted off the Yalu River back in March of 1967. We were eight years old. We brought us to the mothership. We met seven different races of aliens. One uh, race I can't even pronounce their name. It's hard to pronounce. The other six, the first one was called the Biavians. These are, um, these are the ones that had the most interaction with us. What they did is they actually put headsets on both of us um, and downloaded syntax into both of our brains. Um, Riley was able to draw 144,000 different symbols following the syntax, was able to be able to do math, spelling. I was a straight-A student in school, a 140 IQ. We also met up with the Tarzishians. These are um, reptilian people. They uh, smelled really bad, really bad. Um, we met the Stagians. These are bony, leathery appearance type Aliens. Uh, we met the Dorians, who resemble they resemble blonde-haired, blue-eyed humans, but they weren't male or female. They were kind of kind of Caitlyn Jennerish. You know what I mean? Kind of in, in between. We met the uh, Insectilians, which is also known as the Screed. Uh, these are smart bugs. They're about five, between four and five feet tall. Uh, they smell. Really bad. They smelled like shit, to be honest with you. Um, and the last group we met was the Neptonians. Now, they, these are water people, and they actually have underwater bases here on this planet, on Earth. And they have had underwater bases before we were even around, going back to before Christ even. And they're still here, and they come from these bases. So... You know, I just wanted to let your uh, people know, you know, what I, in fact, I, I, I have stories I could take all day, but I don't want to bore your audience. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you, it was a very interesting experience. Um, and I, you know, I appreciate your, uh, your forum to allow me to uh, bring this down. All right, Why don't do it again. Me? Thanks. What do you mean? Thanks for calling. Goodbye. Seven two zero. Seven two zero. Who are you? Where are you? What do you want? I'm Eric. I'm from the Bronx, and I just wanted to call and let you know that free book giveaway has been a success already. We've given out 
three hundred copies of the your book, the silver. You're a li- whatever that I don't. Called. You don't have. You don't have my book. You're a lying Bullshit. piece of shit. Goodbye. Nine one nine. Who are you? Where are you? Hey, Clay, this is Joe in Raleigh. I appreciated you playing the clip about President Trump. It's nice to hear his voice on such a solemn day, and it's nice to hear your voice. Thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate um, it. What I'm doing is... Appreciate you. Oh, no, absolutely. You know? We've got to all be... Un- we all have to be united together. Um, I'm doing a follow-up for my article for my online blog, One Voice, and I need some background from you. Um, I've already interviewed your producer, Steve, and he told me the things you're working hold on it. together. It sounds great. Hold it. And hold then it. I hold that. What's that? Steve is not my producer. He's a lying piece of shit. He oh, has no. nothing to do with me or my show. And if you're listening to him, don't even bother talking to me. That makes you part okay. of a lying piece of shit. Goodbye. This is gonna ruin nine three oh nine. Call from Springfield. I got an eight inch cough that I'm your mouth. You're a sick motherfucker. Goodbye. Seven two zero. Who hey, are you? What are you? We gave out three hundred copies of that book. Me and Steve. All the donations went to PayPal. Just so you know, thank you guys for your donations. You don't have any copies of my book. What book? Yeah, we got the PDF file up on... No, 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 hang on, Clay. Don't hang up just yet. Don't hang up just yet. We have the copy of your book on the piratebay.org. It's a torrent site. Everybody's downloaded it. As soon as they heard word, everybody's been on it. Which book? Which book? Yeah. Deadly Flashes of Silver, bud. You don't have any right to sell that book. You don't have any I'm permission not that it. I have. We're, we're, I we're haven't collecting got donations. A, we're to, I we're haven't, collecting donations, man. I haven't got a dime off of it. That makes you a fucking thief. I'll take this number down and turn <laughs> it over to the FBI. Uh, you send it to the FBI. No, you you said it was okay. We, me, you, and Steve I didn't sat say down, okay. had coffee. Uh, you didn't sit down with you me, you lying piece of shit. <laughs> All right, Clay. You think, nice you, think it's, you think it's funny. I think it's a federal offense. Goodbye, you what? stupid the, motherfucker. To give but people it's, that it's donate nice. money, donate money to the free Americans? You know, there's only one way to donate money to the free American, and that's freeamerican.com, and I haven't New got a dime American. from you. NewFreeAmerican.com. No. Goodbye. You block numbers. I just thought I'd tell you, you block number. You're blocked. Dick to the show, Clay. You're supposed to do 9 11. Fuck yesterday. you, Steve. 952. Hello, 952. Hey, Clay. It's been a long time. Who I finally are you? found you. It's Adam from Minnesota. Who? Adam from Minnesota. Adam, huh? Yeah, when are you coming home? I am home, you ignorant son of a bitch. What did, what did you Think call about all the good for? times. Think about Never all the good times. Never had a good time in Minnesota. Clay. I haven't ever met you. I don't know who the fuck you are. So that makes you automatically Please. makes you a lying, ignorant motherfucker. Goodbye. 309. 309, who are you? 919, I'm sorry. 919. Who are you? What's hey. on your feeble mind? Clay, it's uh, Joe and Raleigh. Um, I just need your help to track down one of the members of your show. Um, I don't know if it's his first or his last name. It's a Mr. Markov for my online blog. It's, it's, does he have a title on your show? or I, I don't understand his role. Or agenda. He's a fucking troll, you idiot. Goodbye. Seven two zero. Oh. So we going four hours today? Fuck you. 
609. Good morning, Again. Clay. Go fuck off. Fuck off. Here's a block number again. 309. Hey, Clay, I, I wanted to ask you, if you would you come to my son's gay bar mitzvah tomorrow? Because he really liked to have you. He really enjoys having you on. He really enjoys listening to your show. And um, that might be a good Go time. to hell. Go to <laughs> hell, you fucking freak. I'm through with you. I'm through with all of you. To hell with all of you. Forget it, I'm through with talking to, trying to talk to a bunch of assholes. I'm not talking to anybody no more. Goodbye. Yeah, hey, let me uh, just uh, pause that for a second. You want to listen to me, dark son of a cloud? Go to hell. Get out of my room. Fuck you. How about that? Is that enough of me for you? And since I've got this pause here for a moment, how about you, 720? Hey, what Clay. What do you want to say? Yeah, who are you? My name's Clay. How you doing, Get man? Get out of here. I'm hey, fine. Your, your wife pussy stinks like trout. I beg your pardon? I said Katie's pussy stinks like trout, dude. I gave her $10. She didn't even have the common decency to give me a fucking reach around. You know what? You're a lying cocksucker. Hey, and we're nobody, giving away free to play Douglas on me, Facebook. But you're a, you're a piece of producer? shit. You're a piece of shit. You can't talk to me or to her about her, and you can't fucking you'll never talk to me again. You piece of shit. How about you, 724? You got something stupid to say? Oh, I Seven. don't think so, Clay. Hey, hey, how's it going? This is Tom from uh, Uniontown, PA. Yeah, what's on your mind, Tom? Hey, I just wanted to talk about something like gentlemen like yourself, Jim Mars, Richard Puller, Dick Smeller, and Peter Gazinia. Uh, I know you guys like it across the giblet a little bit, but um, I wanted to get your thoughts on that. I know Jim Mars. I don't know the other people you're talking about, and I don't know uh, what you mean by that statement. Really? Really? Well, well the let me fuck tell you how you're talking about. Well, let me tell you how it's going to go. This is what you're going to. I'm going to tell you something. You're going to answer me when I tell you. And you there? Yeah, I'm here. I've got okay. the, my finger on the hang-up button, so you better get straight with me and make it good here, because I already don't like you. What? Why don't you like me? I didn't do anything to you. Because I think you're an ignorant motherfucker. That's why. That's straight from my giblet to yours. Go fuck yourself. Goodbye. <laughs> Are you back? Yeah, oh, I'm back in full force, motherfucker. Hey, let me ask Fuck you something. You. No. Go to hell. Yeah, diarrhea, Doug. You better change your goddamn name because I'll kick you out every time I see you, that fucking ugly goddamn name. And your block numbers. Go fuck yourself. Two one zero. A caller from the sewer of Los Angeles. Hello, what do you want? Is this Clay. Who are you? You know what? What have you done with your life lately, Clay? That's all you talk about. Oh, I did this. I did that. I'm a big bad motherfucker. You know, I don't give a shit what you did yesterday. What have you done with your life, Clay? What have you done today with your life? I'm kicking your ass out, you ignorant motherfucker. You don't, you don't go what? to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. This is what I expect from Los Angeles. What I did today is this show, you stupid son of a bitch. 720, you can go to hell. 669. 669, who are you? What do you want? You've got bills here waiting for you, Clay. You need to come back home. 
I don't have any bills anywhere, you stupid son of a bitch. Where's a home? My am home. I really miss that voice, Clay. It's turning. You, uh, you, you, on. <laughs> come on, you fucking piece of shit. I don't, I am home. I'm finally home after 45 years of roaming around this fucking country. I'm back home in Texas. Who are you? You left me, Clay. Oh, fuck, God, never mind. Fuck you. I don't want to talk to you. You're already a dingbat motherfucker, so I don't even care who you are. 720. Fuck, I'm going to hang up on you again. Fuck you. 804, no, you're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Block number, fuck you. That rear Doug, I see your block, your uh, log back in. No, I'm still taking calls, you stupid son of a bitch. I don't take any more calls from Los Angeles. You blood for everybody. Seven two zero. Go fuck yourself. I don't know, Betty Sims. Who the fuck is she? Okay, let's go back. Since there ain't nobody worth a shit in the chat room, we'll go back to Gerald Clark about talking about the Anuki. Who can?